Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing slash review. Today we've got L 2.0 following up from uh, Lights 2.0 version. So of course, similar to Light, this did have a previous version that released way, way, way back when. And uh, I actually did own the original version, but sadly uh, my mom dropped him uh, while cleaning maybe like three years ago. And uh, his neck snapped. It was all gone, uh, so I don't have him displayed anymore. He's still in his box somewhere. I've been meaning to, you know, try and fish out the neck piece and just swap it over for another one, but I never got around to doing it. But, uh, well, we have 2.0 L now to take his place. Sorry, original L. Rest in peace. But, uh, as I did mention in that previous video, if you haven't gone and checked it out, go check that out first. There is a pair pose with light and L. I thought I was going to go with this one, but because of the lack of space I'm uh, experiencing right now, because I've bought way too many Nendroids, uh, the chain, the handcuffs even, is going to take up a little too much space. Plus, uh, when I did have him originally posed, it was with this chair thing, uh, his original chair, so I figured I might as well just do that again, think, uh, to, you know, pay homage to the original L. That used to be on my shelf. He does have a better chair now, which is cool. I appreciate it. So let's get cracking into it. All right. Do we have anything interesting in the instructions? Probably not. Okay. Handcuffs, how to put them on the chair. Cool. Fairly straightforward as always. Got a couple of pieces back here. Ah, oh, no tape. So in here we've got extra arms and hands. Uh, the feet for when he's sitting down. The handcuffs of course. As well as the usual base bits and extra neck piece. Alright, let's have a look at L himself. Da, da, da. Let's pull you out, buddy. Seems to be more hunched over in this version of him. The previous one was, I don't know, it's kind of like a simple chibi art style. I don't know how to describe it, but it wasn't... It wasn't, like, in line with uh, the show's art style as much. I think it might have looked a bit more like the manga, if I'm not mistaken. I think the manga had a similar art style and maybe... Like the end, the end panels, you know, when they do joke stuff. All right, let's just pull you out because uh, that'll make my life easier. All right, put your pockets back in, and there he is. I do like that he's hunched over, just naturally hunched over. That's actually really cool. It it does have like a shadow effect on his eyes because of that. It does make him kind of sleepy looking, like he usually is. So yeah, this is how he stands normally, which, honestly, the standing pose is kind of neat as well. Like, I... Oh, I'm gonna have to debate with which one I go with last there. I mean, if you've seen the thumbnail, it's probably the chair anyway, but... I think I do like this one. I do like the hunchback a lot. It's very... It's very L. Uh, also, on this one, we've got better detailed hair compared to the previous one. Previous one was okay, kind of spiky, but didn't have the same feel. Anyway, oh wait, what's, uh, this back here? Oh, I guess something must have escaped. It's the, the fork hand for his cake. All right, let's get that back in there. How did that, what? How did that even get out? That's interesting. Maybe it's a sign. I have to go with the, the chair cake pose because L, L's fork somehow escaped the plastic. Okay, whatever. We'll go with it. This is interesting that they've um, bagged up his face plates and everything else as well. This might just be a re-release thing, I don't know. Here we have uh, just a kind of plain blank expression, you know, Elle's just thinking, watching, observing. What else do we have? The rare smiley face. Honestly, his eyes, his face plates just look super creepy without, uh, 
any detail. If you, you just have the faceplate, it's, it's, this thing looks terrifying. If you saw this in a dark room, run. Alright. We also have the cake. The cake is a lie. Not in, not in Death Note at least though. And his chair. I'm trying to remember what chair this was. I, I think this was like earlier on when, what was his name, Watabe? Um, Watabe and him were in the hotel, if I'm not mistaken. I think this was the chair he sat in and uh, ate the cake, if memory serves right, hence the cake being here. We do have like a little, little dents there for his legs to go on. Very cool. Oh man, I, you know, I yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with the chair. The chair seems like the coolest one. But anyway, let's get on to some other, other poses. Alright, here's our first pose for L. It's a bit hard to see at certain angles, but he's kind of just biting his thumb. I did notice it's a bit hard to get his thumb to really fit in his mouth. But if you're looking from uh, an angle like this, you don't really notice it. But it is still a cool pose anyway. I really do like the sitting down thing. Uh, he can, you know, sit by himself, so if you don't want to have a stand as well, you could just, you know, place him, place him somewhere like that, and there you go. Easy stuff, because, uh, he is pretty flat, which is nice. Uh, it does look like the legs, can they rotate? Oh yeah, they can. Cool. So the legs can rotate as well, so that's a nice, neat little thing, but yeah, pretty much you just change the base plate, change the arms, and put the sitting sitting legs on instead. Uh, of course, he is still hunched over technically, but it it's pretty much L. If you've watched the show, you know this is his character, which is very cool. But anyway, let us move on to the next pose. All right, here is the final pose for L. It's him on the chair eating his cake, having a good day. Uh, Got to have those sweets to keep that that brilliant brain of his working. Uh, so pretty much the way this works is you use the same sitting pose as before. You just push him back into this uh, spike coming out of the chair. The spike does come out of the chair, so if you want to pull that out first and then put it in and then put him and the spike back onto the chair, that does make it a little bit easier. Slot him into the grooves uh, that's in the chair and then bada bing bada boom, you are done. And of course, since this chair is a chair, it does stand up by itself, so that's pretty handy. I do like it, so I'm gonna definitely keep him in this pose just because uh, it's, a, it's a nice take on him, like a nice little friendlier pose. Plus, I like the cake and the chair, they're very unique parts to him, so I will keep him like this displayed on my shelf. Now then, time for the score. So, uh, what is flimsy here? Uh, I guess some of the hair parts and maybe the fork, but chances are you're not really going to break those as long as you're being careful. Uh, the chair... Personally, the chair isn't too great because of his hunched back. So the chair usually does like lean forward, the spike at least. At least when I pulled it out, it was leaning forward. But now it doesn't. It is a bit difficult to get him into the chair perfectly. Like, as you can see, his... Legs are kind of floating in the air just a little bit, so just for posability, I'm going to take off one point. But even then, he's relatively easy compared to some of those harder ones out there, so just one point off for that. Uh, sadly, we didn't really look at the handcuff pose, but uh, that is a big deal for him at least. Uh, compared to Light, Light does have other poses, but Light up L here does rely on that handcuff thing. So if you don't have light, it might not be as much value getting out of it for you. But uh, for me, it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to give L a whole 9 out of 10, which is pretty good all in all. So who knows? Maybe we'll see some more Death Note characters. I reckon they might do Ryuk and Misa Misa. We will have to see what they do down the line. But for now, this is everyone in the set for the 2.0 version. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, subscribe for more Android content. And if you're trying to support me directly, go check out the Patreon. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. And I will see you all in the next one. All right, bye.